Jai Hind, welcome to Bioaffairs. So, as the title suggests, today we'll be talking about macrophages. Not only macrophages, specialized macrophages. So, if you have studied immunology properly, you know that they are generated from myeloid progenitor cells. Now, from myeloid, there are different kinds of cells generated, but the monocyte and macrophages are related. How? I will give a uh, exemplary uh, picture in the side wall so that you can understand the difference between the two cells. So, monocytes are a heterogeneous group of cells. They generally function in the two way. They, in response to infection in any kind of tissue, some monocytes migrate to that specific zone of the tissue and reside there, differentiate there and become a specialized macrophages. And some monocytes are there which are having a patrolling role. They patrol all over the body through uh, within the blood and maintain or supervise or you can say program the repair of different tissue organizations. Right. So, if you consider in a real life examples like we have a highway patrol police, they are also police, they also reside in police stations, but they can patrol also. Right. So, you can remember this point with this example. Now, coming to the specialized macrophages, we will talk about several macrophages here according to the tissue they require. They are, are having some structural changes in the macrophages, both are mainly phagocytic cells. So, they are phagocytic cells, they destroy pathogens, destroy host cells, they destroy anything that is not required in the immune system, whichever needs to be renewed. I am giving you this small introduction so that it will help you to visualize the cellular behavior of this monocyte and macrophage. I am telling you about monocyte because macrophages come from monocyte. Okay. But there are specialized macrophages which are present from the birth, tissue specific. So, they are generated already, not dependent on the monocyte differentiation. So, I will talk about a separate class of hematopoietic stem cell differentiation. There you will understand different cell lineages which are produced from one cell, from the stem cell and differentiate into multiple cell lineages of immune system. That will be a separate class. So, coming to the topic here. So, tissue by tissue I will go. first consider the brain cells. So, brain cells or the brain contain the microglia. Microglia is nothing but the macrophages which are specialized macrophages. They stay only in brain. This microglia will not be found in your skin or your intestine or anywhere. It will be present in the brain only. They have specialized function in the brain only. And what do they do? They do neural circuit development by synaptic pruning. So, you know pruning means anything unwanted will be pruned and the synaptic development will be proper. If there are any abnormalities or anomalies in this synaptic exchange, then these macrophages will come there and will try to repair this by digesting the unwanted materials, okay, by resolving the matters. Coming to the second one that is lung. The lung specialized macrophages are called alveolar macrophages. Alveoli is there. From there the name came alveolar macrophages. What they do? They remove pollutants. So, you know we inhale several pollutants through the air. Okay, right. Microbes and clear surfactants. So, anything that is harmful to our body which are inhaled directly from the air is maintained there with this alveolar macrophages. They do their job very accurately. Coming to the liver, these are specialized liver macrophage cells called Kupffer cells. Okay, so specialized name is also there. What do they do? They scavenge red blood cells. Scavenge, you know, they destroy them and help in renewing or making new red blood cells. So mainly they scavenge the RVCs. Coming to kidney, resident kidney macrophages regulate inflammatory responses. So Inflammatory response means to the antigens filtered from the blood. So, we know the function of kidney is to filter the blood and during filtration it will also filter some antigens, okay, any kind of pathogen, maybe bacteria, virus or fungi, anything. So, that 
pathogen against the pathogen what will be the inflammatory response to recognize them and to inform the other cells of the body that is the function of this kidney specific macrophages so you have to inform right you have to inform that there are uh, a, what i can say it is a robbery is going in the bank so that information needs to be separated to several patrolling cars or several patrolling police stations or any kind of police activity then they will all come to the specific place and take part so that function will be helped the communication is the inflammatory response or the cytokine messenger response okay these cytokines are the chemical messengers which are secreted from this macrophages from one tissue and it will not only develop a micro environment there which will protect the tissue but also inform the other immune system cells that come there is a problem and solve the issue right now coming to the next skin this macrophages are called langerhans cells okay this langerhans cells maintain as the it is present in the skin skin immunity and tolerance so anything any cut or wound through that if any pathogen tries to enter or if there is any infection or any kind of response which will be first given by this langerhans cells so any kind of immune and tolerance responses you know tolerance is what okay i'll tell you this thing in a separate class now spleen coming to spleen red pulp macrophages so the spleen macrophages are called red pulp macrophages what they do scavenge rbc recycle iron so somewhat similar to the liver kafir cells but they also help in recycling the iron cells so new rbcs can be generated somewhat similar to the liver now peritoneal cavity coming to the peritoneal cavity macrophages they do what maintain the iga production by b cells so you know b cells produce antibodies but they maintain specific antibody there are five types of antibodies but they are concerned with iga type antibody because it is the cavity and it contains the secretion so iga is maintained in the secretion where it is peritoneal cavity so in the peritoneal cavity this macrophages maintain the production of b cells how they can maintain they can activate b cells in a response of infection or a pathogen and destroy it by neutralize it by this iga antibody coming to intestine there are two kinds of macrophages present lamina propria macrophages and intestinal muscularis macrophages so these two types of macrophages have two types of function so first one gut immunity and tolerance whatever i am telling you immunity and tolerance means recognizing tolerance is nothing but the recognition of self and non self okay and immunity is if there is a antigen or non self particle entering into your cell then entering in your body in the intestinal region this macrophage will generate immune response through messenger molecules what are those cytokines interleukins several are there right and the same intestinal muscularis macrophages regulate peristalsis you know peristalsis is the movement of intestine normal movement of intestine so you know there are neuromuscular uh, involvements are there but this macrophages also take part in this active peristalsis by helping the intestine right in the bone marrow the bone macro bone marrow macrophages are present name is same what they do clear neutrophils and blood cell development so these neutrophils which are defective in their function or which are aging that can be directly phagocytosed by this bone marrow macrophages and new neutrophils neutrophils will be produced in this region so lymph node lymph node macrophages are called subcapsular sinus macrophages subcapsular sinus macrophages this macrophages trap antigen particles now you can remember this point as tihar gel in india we have tihar gel like tihar gel there are several gels in your city or all over the india okay so if you consider this gels in a country remember this lymph nodes are present in our body as 
the gels and these gels trap antigens there the antigens are trapped and these antigens are encountered with what immune cells or lymphocytes whatever you say or phagocytes and this generate more robust immune response so these are nothing but the cellular gels for the lymph for the antigens now coming to the heart cardiac macrophages simple function clear dying out heart cells so that the remnants of the heart cells dying heart cells will release some chemicals which may interfere with the function of the heart so anything that is not required in a particular tissue is cleared by these macrophages so here the heart in the heart tissue dying heart cells are or warned heart cells are being removed so these are few macrophages which are very important in your exam for your exam and for mcq also because the names are different according to the tissues so remember the picture over given over there what are the difference from monocytes and macrophages later i will if you say me i will give a separate class on monocyte and macrophage differences whatever their functions okay but and a separate class also in a macrophage so remember these macrophages are also can also act as a antigen presenting cells they are professional antigen presenting cells means their preliminary function is to present the antigen by digesting the antigen presenting the peptide present in the pathogens to what to t cells nave t cells and helper t cells so that more helper t cells and cytotoxic t cells generate which will in generally will be activating more b cells and uh, that is memory cells okay so this is a cycle always running in your body in different tissues different time so this is a very general issue but very important and remember these are professional apcs antigen presenting cells so their primary function is to digest the antigen and present it to the immune system with the help of class 2 mhc molecule major histocompatibility complex that is present in the surface of the macrophages and also they have some co stimulatory functions which co stimulatory ligands which will be given response to t cells so that more robust response can be generated so remember this tissue specific macrophages and what are their specific functions this is very important for your different kinds of competitive exams as well as csr net and neat so i hope this you are clear with the class if you have any query you can join my telegram ask me and i will clear your concept okay thank you very much be with me and if you like my classes definitely give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe